Okay. okay, welcome to warm up number 53. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a 22 sided polygon. So we've got our formula here. The sum is going to be n minus 2 times 180 degrees, n being the number of sides. In this case, that's 22. And do that subtraction first and then the multiplication and this is going to be 2 times 180 is 360 so this is 360 with one more zero 3600 degrees okay all right next up these are exterior angles for this polygon the exterior angles are always going to be 360 degrees no matter how many of them there are any polygon that uh, that's the case. Okay, so then I can write an equation here. All of these, all right, well, I'll start with the x and kind of work my way around. All of those are going to add up to 360. Okay, so I'm going to start by combining like terms. I've got those two, and then let's see, I'm going to combine these x's. So, uh, 1.5 plus 4.5 would be 6. That's 6x, 7x. And then these added together add up to 150. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then I'll subtract 150. So 7x equals 210. Divide by 7, and x is going to equal 30. Okay, I don't need the degree symbol because it's just what goes in the picture there for x. The degree symbol's already there. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So um, next up, uh, solve each for each variable in the parallelogram. They tell us that these are uh, parallelograms in these directions. That's important. If we didn't know that, we wouldn't be able to do much here. Okay, on both these problems, these are parallelograms. That means I can use the properties of parallelograms. One thing that's true about parallelograms, the opposite sides are going to be um, congruent. So um, using the parallelogram opposite sides theorem, okay, I'm, I'm uh, just abbreviating, abbreviating there to give myself some more room. This is my explanation, and I'm just saying what theorem I'm using. That's going to allow me write, to write that a minus 10 equals 18. Okay, and I just add 10, and a is going to equal 28. Okay, and then um, opposite angles are also going to be congruent in parallelograms. So this is the parallelograms. This is the parallelogram opposite angles theorem. That's going to allow me to say that B plus 16 equals 103. And then B will come out to 87. Okay. On the next uh, problem, I'm dealing with the, the diagonals of a parallelogram. All of these, by the way, none of these are the measures. Sometimes it's not really that clear. Is that 14 supposed to be a segment or an, an angle measure? Well, if it was an angle measure, like this angle up there, it would have a little degree symbol. Since it's just a number, I know we're talking about the segments. Okay. So um, I'm going to use the parallelogram diagonals theorem. Here's my explanation here. Um, what that says is that the diagonals of parallelograms always bisect each other. So that means these two are congruent to each other because this cuts that in half. And these two are congruent to each other. Notice it's not that all four um, pieces are congruent because they're not, right? These, this diagonal is longer than the other one. I have a long diagonal and a short one. But now I can say that um, C plus 5 is going to equal 11. I can also say that d plus 4 equals 14. And now I can solve both of those for the variables. C 
So C will equal 6, and D will equal 10. And that is it for this warm-up, and I'll see you next time.